Okay, gentlemen, I thought I would film this for you so you can see what I'm going through here. Um, you will see that there's no active apps going on my iPad. It's an eighth gen iPad. I'm going to turn on just like I would normally. I'm going to turn on the remote. I'm going to turn on the aircraft. Of course, this automatically boots up every time. I get out of this and I get into sky browse but I get no options down here it sees me and my account my phone number and everything but it won't let me do anything so what I do is I turn this off and turn it back on and nothing happens last time DJI didn't find it, and it found it this time. So we'll get out of that and out of this. We'll go back to Sky Browse. Now it gives me the option to fly a mission. And I found the DJI ARS. We'll go to Sky Browse. It doesn't give me a wide browse option. And then it'll let me go back and forth from Ultra, but it will not give me a wide browse option, never has. Click on Sky Browse, and your beautiful software comes up. Well, it's upside down for some reason. And it's still upside down. So anyway, this is an improvement because before, it wouldn't give me the ready to go um, or the GPS. So since I'm inside, I'm not flying a mission, but I wanted to show how this is connecting so i will do a training mission later on today and film the progress there i'm not getting anything on the camera which is odd i did get it before so we'll just wait till we're outside and safe before i i click anything to start Okay, Sky Browse, I'm gonna show you what kind of what I'm going through here. I've got the screen capture on, and uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm going through trying to connect to your software. So, okay, I pulled up the software and it's not connecting at all, but I have not turned off the DGI software. So we're gonna... Turn off the DGI software and then turn off the drone. So the remote control is showing that it's connected to the aircraft, but it's not connected to your software. So I'm gonna close your software and then bring it back up. And then it sees the, sees the drone. So let's see if it'll allow me to fly. It's got me upside down again sure why it does that <laughs> okay so you, you can't see this but it's set upside down as it's forcing that aspect ratio so I have to take this no While connected to the aircraft, I'm turning this around on my remote. No, 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 no. Recording complete? I don't think so. Stop. All right. I got it turned around so I can see it now. Let's see if it'll start. It's gonna start up for me. All right, so what we have is we have the engine started. It's hovering just good. We're gonna go 16 feet above the, 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 the vehicle. And then I'm gonna hit start, I guess.
Okay, we're setting out some uh, things for the sheriff to see. So um, I had to abort that mission. It's probably uploading it now. Um, she's setting out some uh, shotgun shells and a uh, uh, pistol and just things for the sheriff to see. And as soon as she's done, I'll hit start again. All right, well, that was the um, the flight. This is the first flight here. I removed some of the other recordings when I was flipping the iPad over it. it started and stopped recording a few times. So we go to view model, and this is what comes up for me. I have a pretty good computer. And then to try to get the, the same aspect that I had... This is this is what it gave me. Space. There we go. So the resolution, I don't see anything on the dashboard. It looks like the car is crushed. There's the teddy bear. Um, there's the front grill and just not seeing the kind of detail that I was expecting here so at this point I'm um, needless to say a little disappointed so I'm not sure if I did something wrong but I followed the instructions and did the best I can so how I close this I don't know Okay, something, something I just noticed, I started, I, I turned it off, I changed the battery, turned it back on, it connected, and it even struck the engines, but the camera didn't show. So I just got out of the app altogether, started it back, and it worked fine. So I'm not one to give up <clears throat> so easily. Um, as you can see, the clouds came over, so there's no shadow, and uh, I decided to run a second mission. And um, this is with the, your, of course, control of the aircraft. And uh, I sped this up, of course, to uh, save some time. The um, other car is gone, so I thought I might get a better view. And like I said, I just, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I just wanted to, uh, to give it another shot and not just give up. And this is before I even saw the, uh, the 3D rendering of the, of the scene. So this is about what I have. All right, well, here's the, uh, the second model as it came out. I just clicked on the video again. View the model. And there you go. It did, you know, do it very quickly, of course. And this one is just a little better. It doesn't look as, as crushed as it did before. Uh, that's our 1993 uh, Sedan DeVille. And uh, he's still having trouble seeing uh, detail on the dashboard. We can see there's more stuff there, but there is a 38 Special right there. You can't really tell what it is. Then we put some powder and stuff on the dashboard. And, and then the, the poor...
Winnie the Pooh doll there. You can't really tell what that is at all. So, um, unfortunately, I'm not able to suggest this to the sheriff's department uh, only because um, I don't see that this would warrant any kind of budget unless I'm doing something drastically wrong. Um, there you can see a little more poo, but um, not really much else. It's a good camera. It's an Air 2S. It's uh, got a one-inch sensor, and um, well, that's the best I could get out of it. So now you know what I know. Uh, I don't think I can even get a tag number off of that. And that's, uh, sorry it's taken me so long to get this to you, but I have a, a restaurant to, to run, and I'm trying to get a real estate drone thing going, and, and that's those are my problems. But anyway, I gave it a shot. Uh, thank you for your time. Um, let me know if, if it improves somehow or if I did something wrong. Thank you. Bye-bye.